この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu and I am here to watch some more Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. We are approaching the final stretch. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute what we're, what we're gonna plan to do in the future,、uh, unless things go. Haywire, and I feel like I must watch another episode, but, but we'll see.、Um, last time we watched episodes eight and nine. There are 12 total in the season, so we're on 10 and 11. And uh, 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 the plan going forward for, for right now no plan survives contact with the enemy, or in this case, the, the, the show.、Um, the plan right now is to watch 10 and 11 today, and then next week we'll watch 12 and, 12, 12 and then season two, episode one. So we'll get like a, a carryover and have Like a, a point of comparison to compare any changes, significant changes that we see to like the art style or the way that things are being done in season two.、Um, hopefully, that works out okay. We'll see. If, if I feel like there's a cliffhanger at, at the end of episode 11 and we just like have to watch episode 12, then we'll do that.、Um, I'm not stuck on either way, but I, I feel like having a, a bridge the gap type of episode would be kind of cool.、Um, or type of reaction. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. In any case, last time on Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, we had an episode that focused largely on our, our invisible boy, the seemingly only male character besides、uh, Itoshi Sensei himself, and、uh, had some focus on some other things as well, which were also interesting and fun. Lots of stuff about mistakes in life and, and how awful they can be, but also that the, the Kafka's take on that, which is that, like, yeah, but if the mistake is exposed, everything's okay. And the answer is sort of somewhere in the middle, which is like, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, exposing them and, and admitting them and learning from them is good. But it's not hardline like mistakes are always there, or you can totally get over it just by telling people that you, that you abducted children or murdered people or whatever. Yeah, that doesn't make it okay, but、yeah, it helps a little bit. Anyway, interesting couple of episodes. I assume there will be more interesting episodes forthcoming, and、uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Side note uh, uh, you might notice that things look better in here, they, they look a lot better.、Uh, thank you to this background, which I, I, I purchased recently and got delivered.、Um, The, the, the darker gray background that I was using before wasn't very flattering in terms of just lighting the room and the way that things end up looking. And I know from experience that because of my skin color and just like my skin tone, which is vampire pale,、um, um, I do better when the camera is picking up a significant amount of blue in the scene.、Uh, you'll see it. You, you can see the difference, honestly. If you go through any of my videos where I'm wearing a blue shirt, usually like a navy ish blue shirt,、um, I look Better. <laughs> It's weird.、Uh, it also helps with the eyes because that that color is like my eye color, like exactly. So that's nice. Anyway, side note, totally unnecessary to talk about, but I wanted to talk about it because I'm excited about it because it's like, oh, look, a, a rather cheap improvement to general video quality. Nice.、Um, so no more no more dark mode t i a b o o We're settling somewhere in the middle,、uh, not blinding light blinding white light and also not dark as fuck gray. Um, kind of cool, kind of okay with that. In any case, um, uh, 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 total aside, big tangent, fuck it, whatever. Um, been doing that a lot today. Uh, so, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, episodes、uh, 10 and 11 is the plan. We'll see if that plan t survives contact with the show itself. But,、uh, let's, let's go ahead and turn our attention to the show proper. That is the whole point, isn't it? Um, so. I have episode 10 up and ready to go. It is at zero seconds. There will be two versions of this reaction video, as usual. You can find a picture in picture version with the video up there in the description down there, and a timer based version up on YouTube. If you want to sync up your own copy of the episode with the timer based version, that's what it's there for. Just get it ready because the beep beep timer is uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's coming. <laughs> oh, that's just that's just awesome. <laughs> okay, okay, more. What the? 
<laughs> right. Right. Yes. That concludes the summary of previous events. Nailed it. Uh-huh. Are we in Akihabara? <laughs> Wait, what? Cult. Cultural. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the school's cultural festival. That explains everything. Uh-huh. This isn't the OP I know. Where's Bure Bure? Not that I mind. At all. Because this is groovy as fuck. Bure Bure Bure. Who makes a new OP 10 episodes into a 12 episode season? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's it's minimal in the actual animation effort, but 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 still This is groovy. I love it. Cultural demand. Oh, okay. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? Okay. I was about to say, that sounds like it's part of a constitution. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, which is? Now, what's the bare minimum? Pretty low. What does that mean? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Truly awful.
Hmm. We'll find them. I need to make a note, though. Never mind. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could have done a notch. Oh, that's really cute. Uh... And he killed the merchant. What? Uh, uh, a bit, um, okay. And I cast Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> oh, I'm turning bright red. I'm just here for the staring. <laughs> it's the best part. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> That doesn't seem helpful at all. Not to reference the animation. Okay. Wow. It's 
truly the minimum. <laughs> what a low bar. Wow, that's their... Oh my... Oh. Uh-huh. Well. <laughs> oh my What? I mean, these remind me more than anything of, like, Shir Shiraishi Minoru bits at the end of Lucky Star. Just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> hmm. What is a date preview? That's just a date. <laughs> that is a lot. Hello, penguins. Hmm.
Uh, okay. <laughs> you can look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the oh, okay I see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It's the second one. First we had Itoshiki who didn't get despair, and then two others that do. Yeah. <laughs> Anime figures? Oh man, I want to see that one. So, a preview of death? Yours. Yep. It's <laughs> thinking grave. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I guess he's going to need that grave sooner than later. Uh, <laughs> wait, was that an ultrasound? Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. How? Doesn't matter. Thanks. Huh? Huh? I guess I'll pull up the trivia.
Okay. Uh, let's let's start with general terms. Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei as a series is always ridiculous and often really crazy. This episode is to the rest of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei what Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei is to your average seasonal anime. Fucking what? Okay. First off, the introduction. We've already done that gag, now we just, like, two-upped it. Not even a one-up, that was, that was two. That was a two-up. Second, new OP that's just a bunch of jokes and, and very colorful still frames? What? Is that the OP going forward? I don't know. What? Like, they took a few episodes to even, from what I've read, like, finish the Bure Bure OP. And they've had it for, like, six or eight episodes, and then they just toss it. What? Okay. Second. Often, so far, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei episodes have been broken up into very, 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 very short segments that are, are, are broken up by other things. This takes that to another level, the first half being broken up by, by the G, and the, the second half being broken up by Akinaide, uh, the, the don't open it. But, but, like, 30 times more of each than ever before. What? I'm trying to figure out what, what happened here. Like, was there not enough to go on? Or, or padding t for time? If it was padding for time, then that's amazing. Also, the, 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 the movie-esque sequence in the middle? I don't know where it is. But the, 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 there's an entire sequence. Yeah, this. That's like, it's like a film opening. What is that theme? What? It's really close to something that I'm familiar with. Maybe it'll be in the trivia. Okay. Um, 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 um. Umu. Umu, umu. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. There are a bunch of, a bunch of cards with other things. I think one of them was at, like, 550. Yeah. Still in gym. Can't be signs. AI would be slightly too cultured. That's so hard. Something like Gundam. And then the one before it, his head tilted. Are these, like, storyboards? Haromizu knows acting level will be okay. Abiru, no expression on our face. Abiru, that wouldn't be considered a compliment, right? These are our storyboards done as cards, or or manga panels done as cards. Were they were they out of staffers on this episode? That's what it feels like. But then why are they doing other unique things like the the OP? They could have just reused the regular OP. What? There's there's so much in this episode that's so baffling. I, 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 a solid chunk of the episode didn't didn't work super well for me. But there's so much here that's so baffling that it, it makes me genuinely believe that there's some story behind this this particular episode that I'm just lacking context on and and missing completely. If you know anything about weird production things that happened during the, the production of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei episode 10. Please pass that information on to me in the comments. I would very much like to know any any external con contextual information about this episode because this was weird and I liked it. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Um. 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 The, the, the G's from her are, like, amazing in this episode, all the way throughout. They're, they're fantastic. Also, I love the, the, the wow that we get at the end. It's great. This whole sequence is, like, interestingly animated, um, with the, the camera up so close and the, 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 just the, the depth that we get from it. Like, spinning this, this guitar around and foreshortening everything on her body as she goes is, is not the easiest thing in the world. Um, and it's pretty, pretty awesomely done, I think. I don't know. Uh, okay. 
let's let's look at the trivia, shall we? Uh, in episode ten. Uh, in the new opening presented in episode 10, the words in the background of the characters are a series of jokes. The last panel is simply laughter. Okay. Uh, there was a talk about Takeshi Shirokane about his bad acting. It may be a stretch, uh, but my doubts tell me it's Takeshi Kaneshiro uh, reversing Kane and Shiro. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Um, the anim- At the halfway point of the animation for the break is a clear reference to James... Okay, to James Bond. Uh, the usual artistic opening animations for James Bond films. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, during the weekly ending segment, Chiri mentions other works in response to a letter by the director naming Chidamari Sketch. A reference to Shaft's last production, Hidamari Sketch. Uh, also, a potentially a subtle, subtle hint of the second season of Hidamari Sketch. Oh, okay. Um, to Samurai... From Samurai X slash Roroni Kenshin appear, with the next image being a man reading Samurai X manga. So I, I assume that's in the last time, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, letter feedback. Some other stuff about Hidamari sketch. And uh, during the pre-OP sequence, it's shown that for the cultural festival, the class 2Ha sets up a maid cafe named Hanau- Hanaukyo. A re- reference to Morishige's manga Hanaukyo Made Tai, which has known two anime adaptations. So two ha, huh? okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Um. Oh my god, the the bit with the ki- there are so many bits in this episode, and they're all separated by by stairs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skim as fast as like as fast as fast because there's one. There's one stare that, like, really stood out to me. It's the one where she has green hair. That one's really cute, too. But, uh, they're almost Vector-esque. It's really cool. Yeah, the the bad joke is a, a, is a bad joke. G, G, and... Skimity, 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 not that one. I know it's in the first half, and it's in the later part of the first half, because a bunch had already happened. Skimity, 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 rock fishing, what the fuck? And that as the basest means of, of cultural conversation, just two, an- two, two weebs yelling at each other. Perfect. Just perfect. I think what's what's so fascinating about this show is that when nothing is going on and when there's nothing to show, there's always something interesting going on on screen. It's it's always interesting to look at. All right, I'm I'm not able to find the thing that I'm looking for. That's fine. It it really doesn't matter that much. I feel like my mind is turned inside out from this episode. That was so weird. Oh, okay. Let's 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 put this episode away. And let's watch the next episode and see how crazy we can get with all this shit. Yeah. Uh I'm going to take I'm going to take like 30 seconds do a sinky thingy and and whatever so there'll be a cut here. I'll see you in a moment. All right, we are synced up and ready to go for episode 11 of Sayonara's That's Bo Sensei. Last episode was a f- fucking wild trip. Uh, let's see what this one is. I don't know. Uh, uh, beep beep timer. Okay. Film festival. Okay, it's this one again. <sighs> what? What?
Is that a new character? With the really short hair? Really groovy song. All the music in this show is like the best. <laughs> mm. Oh, they brought the kid with them. Third eye. Oof. Ha. Oh. Oh, what? Abu. Oh, I like this piece. Ah, just following following the tropes and traditions of what has been done before. And that's your escape route. Right. Right. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Praise those who do not follow the original way. Five oh seven. Yeah, I don't think that's real. Turning turning a, a a turn of phrase or an excuse into a literal escape route or road is an interesting it's an interesting thing. I was just following the recipe. Now, let's talk about more of them. 
<laughs> Japanese Meteorological Association, I assume. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, he's gone real far in that masochism thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? No shade on ya. <laughs> do what, do what floats your boat. Oh, this track. Uh... Take your route. Marry me. Yep. And two? Uh, well, that's the one we're going with. And you're going to murder him. Hmm. Helpful. This isn't an escape route at all. Except that eeny, meeny, miny, mo always works in a specific way, depending on where you start. G no. Otto. Shinta spurned her. Oh, so obvious. That is a new character. Who the hell is that? What the hell is that? Mm hmm. I just hear. Oh, hi, Komori san. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum.
啊。Isn't that a spring thing? Yeah. What? <laughs> Just don't get blood on it. Oh. Oh. Oh no. That shit's retirement money. <laughs> Don't throw away your kids collectible cards. It's not okay. <laughs> As someone who had what would be hundreds of dollars of Pokemon cards that are now missing. Ah! Who's the new girl? I want to know who the new girl is. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's important. It's got a sentimental value. Oof. Uh, I mean, you totally can. Oh, yeah, depression, I was about to say. <laughs> Ooh. That's depression. Or, we'll call it hibernation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nope. Oh, just unnoticed. Poor bastard. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh 
Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Do not, do not fuck with Cherry. Nope. Nope. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Damn, the days before streaming sucks. Why do I feel like they're going to suffocate? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that just became diegetic. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Why? Oh boy. Well, that'll do it. Just go to church. Oh, the worst. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It was a losing battle. Ha. Uh Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, breathe some, breathe some fresh air. Okay. No, it wasn't. What escape route? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't cliff hang me. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. They know. They know. 
It's been like 12 years, but they knew. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, there's an after credits. Never mind, we're fine. Good, good. I, I'd prefer to do it that way anyway. Is Itoshiki Sensei working on Itoshiki Sensei? Is that Rin? Oh, nope, it's just everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Kafka. She believes it. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. Eh? Ah. Ah, motherfucker. Okay. There was an after credit scene. And it didn't help. Looks like we're finishing the season today. Okay. Okay. A more standard episode than the last one. The last one was a, a mindfuck of the highest degree. This one was much more standard, minus the ending. Um, I really like the first the first bit that we do with the the idea of an escape route. Um, starting off with the the metaist of the jokes, which is of course the 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 director following the original way as the escape route for making something uninteresting, which is kind of interesting because right before watching this episode, I said, I said something, uh, that would be the same response to this, which is that, uh, what's kind of one of the more amazing things about Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei is that even when nothing interesting is going on, there's always something interesting going on. There's always something above and beyond and something to look at, something to not quite catch. And, uh, it's part of what makes the show really interesting and makes me want to makes me want to continue engaging on it and makes me like keen on ensuring that I try to catch everything. Um like if, if the show weren't so interestingly directed and so uniquely directed and so off of the original way, it wouldn't be nearly the quality that it is nowhere near it wouldn't be able to touch it but with the way that it is i i can't look away from it because there's always the next frame is going to be something weird and interesting and and artsy and and strange and that's what makes it so amazing so i love that starting with the meta humor thing but then the the joke itself is also very solid it's it's an interesting uh representation of the the ways that people escape from responsibility over or or failure over certain things that they they do or perform or create really interesting gag um the the second half about hibernation was also pretty fun yeah don't don't use a, a wood or or anything burning stove inside a sealed room don't do it don't do it that's a, a quick way to get dead uh uh quickly um and you might not actually notice because it's carbon monoxide and it, it is odorless and colorless and, and you don't know usually until it's too late. 
In fact, if they were already feeling woozy from it, there is a distinct possibility of brain damage, uh, which is bad. Very bad. Some very cute moments throughout the episode. Some very scary moments from Chiri. Uh, uh, things that we've seen in the OPs for a little while are finally coming to a little bit of fruition. Um, with her becoming, I don't know, I, I wouldn't call her a yandere. She's, she's not really. But uh, having, having that element to her character, certainly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. In any case, uh, I wasn't really planning on watching this this last episode today, but given the way that we decided to end the, 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 the penultimate episode, it looks like I don't have much of a choice. I, I mean, of course I do. I could, I could put it off and we could watch that and then the next, but I'd like to know where we're going with this, and so we're going to watch the, the episode 12. It's just the way it's going to be. So, uh, uh, I'm going to take a quick break, take a moment, do a resync, and then we'll jump on into the final episode of season one of Sayonara Setsubo Sensei. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Uh, yeah. See you in a moment. All right. Welcome back. We are good to go on the very, very, very final episode of Sayonara Setsubo Sensei season one, uh, which means that next week we will go ahead and jump on into the first couple episodes of season two. Okay, let's let's do it. BB timer. What? Wow, that's cool. Oh! Cool! But without the animation? I've got a subtitle track on, right? Yeah. Incredible brother. So we're just not going to address the ending scenes, are we, at all? So this is Showa era? Okay... <laughs> Just following him through the crowd. Hello? Well, this is different. Is this... Is this... Is this a girl who has... Is a match for Itoshiki Sensei's level of despair? And self-deprecation?
The only thing annoying about you, girl, is that you think you're annoying everybody. Woo! Yep. Hmm. How are you going to just introduce a new character at the very end? She was not. Oh, she was. That's a way to explain it away. Mm. I cha Indeed she is, as she would believe. Okay. Ai Kaga? Kaga Ai? It's Kagai is guilt, isn't it? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, or she's just Japanese. Oh, I see. What's with the storm drain or man? Oh, there it is. Tar box. Hmm. That doesn't work. Can't help it. Another one, eh? <laughs> oh, no. All around.
What's the chanting? <sighs> Popper, bimbo, daijino, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> I assume these are all actual players. A hundred. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. Goodbye, friend. Okay. Gotta do what must be done. <laughs> I think it's Sensei's fault that Sensei died. <laughs> <laughs> she should glorious. Kai guy. Please enjoy. Okay. Ah. An old classic. Okay. We finally get to meet this girl. Okay. Come on.
We're playing off that, that trope of the gruff exterior, warm interior, and then playing off it again. <laughs> People think that you couldn't have possibly done it. Wow, that's cool. Because you look like you would have done it. Wow. So, two opposites in the same episode. <laughs> ah, it couldn't be. <laughs> oh. I see you, Shaft. <laughs> Classic. Only an anime. Uh, uh, oh, and I feel like she's putting something in its butt. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> nope. I don't think that's what it is. You would you would trust her if she had a bloody knife next to a murder scene. Marumia. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't be. Right. I Harumi Fujiyoshi? Oh, that was, that was Rei and Shinji. <laughs> oh. Couldn't have been her. Oh, what? Do what? Somebody take her phone?
Oh. Too much evidence. To lift up her skirt, right? I would assume so. Nah, it can't be. <laughs> and she'll fall in love with him. Oh my god, is this- is this Shonen Bat Paranoia Agent reference? I would assume so. I'd have to check the- the timeline, though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! That was a real explosion. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly the way she looks. I feel like this is another one of those references to something. And looks at... Uh... That's the end. Is there a... Looks like there's a little bit of a, a stinger or something at the end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, you okay.
Oh. Well, first off, what the fuck was with the cliffhanger never being addressed? Ah! Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. You, you bastards. You got me. Second, what the fuck is with introducing new characters in the final episode? Oh. 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 Fuck it. It's Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. We can do whatever we want. Um, let's go through the trivia. I just realized that, that I never went through the trivia for the last episode either. So let's, let's go through all of them. Uh, in episode 11, Nozomi was reading the Hayate no Gotoku manga, okay? During Chiri's cleaning spree, Fujiyoshi says that she throws away anything questionable, showing, uh, DVD examples. One is Zetsubo Sensei itself. The other is Panny Phase, a, uh, a reference to Panny Pony Dash. Okay. Uh, and then that's it for episode 11, I guess. All right. And then episode 12. While shopping, uh, the book's shown that she doesn't purchase include a full metal alchemist Roy slash Ed Dojinchi, an Oran High School Host Club Dojinchi, great show, a Kaworu X Shinji Dojinchi, oh, it wasn't Ray, okay, and a Bleach Dojinchi centered, centered on Renji, and then she she purchases the one that's Gundam Seed centered around Othron, okay, uh, she's against Gundam for, oh, okay, uh, the girl with the guilt complex, Aikaga, says she has been avoiding the camera in the series so far, yet she makes a brief cameo appearance in episode one. Oh, interesting. Um, Chronicles of Marumiya. Yeah, I caught that one. The furry kake, the witch in the wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, same freaky-faced mask that appears in Negima appears here. So is that the one that, uh, that Kafka had? Yeah, okay. Um... It is clear that Abiru's tail collection includes a Pikachu tail. I missed that, but okay. Uh, when Fujiyoshi is crying over Itoshi's coffin, she's reading a Kamina X Simon uh, Dojinchi. Okay. And then the way that Nozomu gets punched looks a lot like the way that Simon punches Rasu or, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Or the way that Kamina punches Simon, because I think that those are the, the effectively the same cut, but it might be different. Um,. And the the ending scene, I was I was kind of thinking like this might be Lupin. Uh, yeah, it is the uh, the parody of the ending of the of Lupin the Third, Castle of Cagliostro, where there are various people and Kaede on the bike is Fujiko. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, this was interesting having both an innocence complex and a guilt guilt complex at the same time. I, I have to think that the the innocence complex was uh, a little bit more interesting just because there's. Ah, just change the way I'm sitting. Uh, there's a little bit more of a layer to it because, uh, yeah, it, it's it it kind of rings true as well, especially when you bring up the example of like a a clue esque game or uh, a mystery series, right? You always when you're when you're watching a mystery or or reading a mystery novel, the the most obvious suspect is usually a red herring, and so we're we're kind of ingrained with that. I wonder if if that's like a, an an a, a, an emergent thing from 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 exposure to to culture and exposure to media and just the way that writing a story like that works or if we naturally do that i i, I don't know if that's like a natural human thing or a thing that is that is learned over time via exposure to that kind of a red herringy trope i just don't know it's kind of an interesting thing to think about the the guilt guilt complex and relating it to uh japanese history and and japan as a cultural entity um rings true to me although i don't have a ton of experience with it uh it, it definitely rings true and and is interesting and i think is is something relatively universal like it it you just need a certain level of low low self esteem and then it be bad, bad juju but um to make it a, a hyper-apologetic Japanese person is a, a standard trope, but then taken a couple steps further, as Zetsubo Sensei usually does, with any of their characters' obsessions or oddities or, or, or philias or phobias or whatever. All in all, a cool and interesting episode. Uh, not much as of, of like a finale, if you know what I mean, but also a great finale. But it feels like just another episode. How I, I want to look up a couple things though. Uh, one being, actually, I don't remember what I was gonna look up. Oh, um, the airing of of Musou Dairi Dairinin Paranoia Agent Mal. 
uh, what year did Paranoid Agent air? 2004, so it would have been out by this time. So it's quite possible that the whole, the, the bent bat sequence is a, a reference. And then the second thing I want to look at is uh, the airing time difference between uh, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei and Zoku, which I, I believe is the next one. 2008, uh, January. This one ended in September. So it's it, uh, practically the same season, um, or, or just one season break in between. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, uh, interesting. I don't have that much to say about this episode. I mean, it, it, interesting character introductions, not not a ton to talk about, I don't think. I could probably find something if, if I went through it again. Um, but given that we've watched three episodes, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, a solid three episodes of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. No, no episodes that, like, faltered in any way. Um, or didn't land well for me. Uh, a couple of, of gags that didn't super land for me, but it's always a mix and match with, with Setsubo Sensei. So, we have completed the first season. Da, 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 da. Uh, I guess next week we'll watch the second season. We'll watch a couple of episodes of it. We will see how many we get through. Um, I assume that there will be interesting things in like OPED, that kind of stuff to talk about. So we'll play it by ear and, and go where we want to. But uh, for now, for now, let's wrap this up. I've been Tiabu. This has been the entirety of the first season of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. Thank you for joining me on this ride if you've joined me on, on this ride. And uh, I hope to catch you next week when we embark on the second season. Should be interesting. Anyway, peace.